Okay, here's my creation for a DIY build variable power supply. It's basically just the buck converters. I know it all looks a bit fancy in there, but there's nothing really exciting going on. So really, the main part of the thing is here. If you go on the internet and just look up DC to DC buck converter, step down, that's all it is. And this one that I got is off good old eBay. So this one's got a built-in pot on the front of it. And inside it, it has got a little um, little volt, a little volt meter inside. You can see it right now. I'll switch it on in a minute, then you can see. So you're probably wondering why I've put an extra voltmeter on the front. Because it all does look quite nice when it's lit up. So the voltmeter doesn't really the voltmeter doesn't kick into it just over four volts, which is a bit pointless really. So that's why I put in the second second voltmeter. Just mounted in this little glass cube, all the controls. So there's another little buck converter in there as well, a small one. And I've just put some LEDs in there really just to just jazz it all up a bit really. So it's quite a cheap build really. If you're prepared to wait and get the stuff direct from China, I think the main variable buck converter, this one, the main one, was um, probably three dollars. And I think the small one was one dollar, including shipping from China. I've got three of these voltmeters direct from China. Uh, I think it was two dollars something for three of them, although I don't need three, they come in a pack of three. Then I just sourced this plastic case and bought these extra bits and there you go. So it's all dependent on your power supply obviously. What I can remember, I think this particular buck converter would take anything up to 35 volts. So it's dependent on your transformer that you've got. I just sourced this one off eBay. So this is um, a 32 volt one. 32 volt. I think I paid got this for five pounds off eBay, including shipping, which isn't bad. So, being a step down transformer buck converter, this one you actually lose two volts through the circuitry. So I'll, I'll switch it on, and you can see what it does. Power up. As you can see, I've got some. I've got a strip of LEDs in there. I'll just take it apart, you can see. So that's what the little second buck converter does. This little one here. I think that's tweaked for about nine. That's tweaked for about 10 to 12 volts. That one. So that all that does is just powers the LED circuit. I put the jacks on the front so you can plug your leads in. Let me just see in there and see. So. Um, if I start turning this up so you can see the voltage, around about 4 volts you'll see this, the main little circuit, there you go, let's sort of tweak it back down again, so I think that's it, I think 4.2 is when it starts, when it kicks, there you go, yeah, oh, get a differential there between the two voltmeters, <clears throat> so you see that little inner voltmeter actually gets brighter the more you turn it up. So you can adjust this now, the variability on it. So on full turn then it's 28.8 volts, so it's not much of a difference there on the thing. So we've pretty much lost just over three volts really through the circuit. Obviously if you put a smaller transformer there you'll be if you only put a 12 volt there, well, you probably only get 10 volts out of it, which isn't much point really. So that's the reason why I put this one in, because obviously, if you want to power anything less than 4 volts, is a bit, a bit useless really, isn't it? So and it kicks out. So if you want to power anything at 3.3, say, or something, then you've got the variability. Obviously, there's no um, there's no current control on this, but it's not bad for a little bench power supply, really quite cheap, you don't have to put all these whistles and bells all over it, you can just mount it on a piece of wood if you want to really, just a buck converter and a little voltmeter I suppose, to keep it simple, 
there you go. Thanks for watching.